Hello, Maurice. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine? Is it yeah, raining? Fine. Is it raining over there? Yes. Yes, uh, it's raining. Yeah, raining. Yeah, here is it, it was raining. Right now it is not raining anymore, but it was. It was. Yes. Okay. So good evening, Abigail. Good evening, Kenya. Good evening, Tony. Uh, Raul is connecting as well. Well, I think that um, some of you are connecting. Is it raining where you live? Yes, teacher. Very hard, a few minutes, and right now is more slowly. Okay, yes. I think that it was the same here. Right? Yeah, terrible, terrible. Okay, so good evening, uh, good evening Carlos Omar. Good evening, well, uh, Raul. Right, Pablo is connecting. Let me see. Okay, Kenya. All right. So, um, guys, we are going to start with today's class. Uh, welcome once again. So, this is going to be our class number nine. And we are going to move to today's agenda. Well, today we are going to start with the warm up and then we are going to move to grammar and we are going to cover the information about product testing, and we also are going to talk about transition words, okay? We have listening quizzes, we have grammar quiz, and we have the speaking time as well, okay? So to begin with, the warm up for today is going to be kind of different from the previous one. So we are going to start with a story card creation. So I need three volunteers. Yes, I need three volunteers, three. Okay, should I pick? Yes, okay. Yeah. Abigail, are you there? Mm, no. Mm. No, she's not there. Uh, Raúl Jordán, are you there? Yes, good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay, so Raúl, you are one. Okay, you are one volunteer. Okay. Then Pablo, are you good there? Night. Hello, good evening. Luis. No, good evening. Sorry, good evening. Good evening, yes. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Pablo? Good evening. Good evening, Pablo. Okay, so can you participate in the activity? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, perfect. You are the second um, volunteer. And uh, let me see, let's see, um, Luis Miguel. <laughs> Hello. Yes, you are the third volunteer. All right, guys. Okay. So this is what we are going to do, okay? This is what we are going to do. This, um, Dynamic, it is called a story card creation. So basically this one is for you to speak, yeah? And let me let me show you and let me share with you, let me see. Where is it? Okay, I'm going to share with you the screen and what you are going to see. Yes, there you go. You are going to see some cards right some cards right now you cannot see the image that is inside right so okay then i'm going to hit deal the cards and you will see a lot of pictures yeah what we need to do is that we need to create a short story well you are going to create um the short story based on the pictures yeah so in this case, uh, Luis Miguel, you are going to start with the story. Then Raul, you are going to continue with the story and Pablo, you are going to finish the story. The main purpose here is that you don't need to lose the idea that Luis Miguel presents at the beginning. Teacher, como así? Okay, look at this, deal the cards, okay? Aquí están las, uh, las ocho primeras pictures right so 
as you can see, we have, what is this? A waterfall. Yes. A waterfall. Yes. What is this? Parking lot. A parking, parking lot. lot. So, Luis Miguel, you are going to start. I mean, those are not the ones that you are going to describe. Okay, I'm going to hit again, deal the cards. But this is just the example. So, you are going to start creating your, your story with those two pictures. You need to invent. You need to use your imagination. Yeah, and then Raul, you are going to continue with the other two. Yes, but you need to make sure you follow the uh, story that Luis Miguel started with. Yeah, and then Pablo, you are going to finish the story and you can take those two. Esas dos. Solo vamos a utilizar seis. Dos y dos para cada uno. Las últimas dos quedan ahí. Okay? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right. Okay. Very good. By you. <laughs> you change it again. Yes. Okay, Luis Miguel, you are going to start with those two. And then uh, Raul, those two. And Pablo, those two. Okay. The first one is the... Yes. This. yes. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy yes. that was in yeah. love. Okay. okay. ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo inician? This. Uh, once upon a time. That, that's a one a time I walk in, in the um, mall in the city and okay. I looking for shoes. I I enter in the store. I see a beautiful girl in the... In the uh, uh, hmm? ¿Cómo se ve? I see the... The cashier is a beautiful girl. I fall in love. After that, I I talk with her. Um, I invited to drink coffee in the same mall. I talking about of the the life, the work, and the, the university. Um, after that, I get we. We go to rainforest and stop. Next, Raul. Then after that, uh, when when we are running in the forest, mm -hmm. we fall down and I broke my leg. After that, I have to <laughs> use a wheelchair yes. for a for moving me from one place to another. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to see her again. Okay. Then I call her and we made a date. Okay. After that, I see this beautiful girl again. And he they present me another, another girlfriend. And she was pretty too. After oh my that, God. Hero. We... <laughs> okay, hero. After that, <laughs> after that uh, we, we have a date and uh, it stopped. Okay. Go, Pablo, you finish with the story. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos Vladimir. Pablo? Um, yes. We went to the planetarium mm -hmm. to see the exhibition that I, I was showing. And mm -hmm. And then when I daily store because um, when want uh, to buy some washing and other item. Okay. Finish. <laughs> you finish. Okay, very good. Okay, it was very good, Pablo. Okay, guys, observations. Most of you, um, okay, did good. However, the verbs were in present and not in past. All of the verbs that you said. Yeah. So in this case, uh, once upon a time is the, like the, the, the first phrase, right? I fall in love. I invite to bring. We go to run. We fall down for moving. For moving me? No, for moving. Just for moving, okay? I see. I saw, right? So all of the verbs were in 
present. Okay, we need to make sure we are speaking past. Yeah. Okay, so now I need other volunteers, three more. With different cards, okay? You are going to have different cards, not the same. Mm. I wanna try again. Okay, perfect. Okay, Luis Miguel, you go first. Um, other cards. Okay, yes, other. Other cards are not the same, okay? Okay. With different girlfriend. <laughs> different <laughs> girlfriend, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Luis Miguel, you go first, then. Okay. Once upon Please a choose time. Another, the, other, the other two uh, people. Okay. With, with different to, two. Yes, I'm going to choose other. Yes, because if not, uh, okay. So, let me see. Um... Tony. Okay, Maris and Tony. Okay. Okay. All right. So how would you how how would you say in in past um listen music? Ah no, listen, no, no, yeah. Listen to no, music. No, no. Okay. Listen. Okay. Oh. But you know we are going to play with those. Yeah. Uh, Luis Miguel, you will start. Okay. So the first two. Then Tony. Oh. The other two. And Maris, you finish with the story, okay? You finish with the story. Yes, with those two. What's up upon the time? Uh, somebody knocked on my door. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they give me a, a one package. In this package, we receive one guitar. Uh, I, we play music for two hours with my wife and after that we go to finish okay and the hotel no, <laughs> <laughs> no. okay i mean okay okay Darn it. okay uh, i'm going to start with the yes okay with my new guitar, I decide to go to my bed and and try to inspire myself with different uh, subjects. Okay. But I remember that I have to a uh, potion to make dreams come true, and okay. I need to try to to mix different compounds to make uh, a sweet tea to improve my 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 imagination to make a different things to song with my new guitar okay. but i was wrong in the in the secret formula and i choose a different ingredients that Make me a monster. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. And All then... right. And then Morris. What did your teacher? Yes, Morris. So you go. Uh, yeah. Yes, those two. Uh I I'll find in my computer mm -hmm. and it's very offer but mm -hmm. but uh but to buy okay and one <laughs> how no winner. Okay. No winner the cup. I have to buy the cup. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Invent. Invent. Yes. Don't worry. Uh, then I I was 
play with my cat. Okay, I was playing. I was playing with my cat. Okay. And then I go to the store. The store. Mm -hmm. I. I. I bought. Buy. I bought. I bought. A food for my cat. For your cats. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Okay. You did use your creativity. But guys, okay. Same thing. Most of the verbs that you were mentioning were in present. They should be in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simple past. Simple past. Okay. All right. Yeah. So... Let's move, all right? We're going to stop this activity right here, but we are going to continue with this one probably tomorrow, okay? Let's see. Let's start, and we are going to start with this question, okay? Um, why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Why do you think it's really necessary? Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is necessary? I think uh, uh, I need to know the needed client and mm -hmm. the A specific, a specific product. Okay. All characteristics. Okay. So you need to maybe try a specific characteristics. Okay. You need to know that the product has those yeah. specific characteristics. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to try. Igualito. All Así right. Lo dije, igualito. Okay. <laughs> Marcus. Okay. So very good. Then let's see. Maybe. Uh, maybe who maybe. else? Huh? Who else? Me, teacher. Yes. Um, maybe um, if we are the manufacturers of the product, uh, we need to know if the product is uh, accomplished or, or the product um, meets the requirement of the, of the clients or the okay. product as well. Um, if the product is for the beauty, you know, you need to know if uh, the changes that then that the product have like a promise, mm -hmm. uh, it, it it's the goal or the complement uh, okay. meets if, the, the the regulations or or the the goals of, of the goals exactly. Yes. Okay. Very good. So let me ask somebody else. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Is Abigail Bonilla there? Yes. Okay. Abigail, so in your case, why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Um, because... Mm -hmm. The effect secondary. Okay. Uh -huh. um, that's it. <laughs> okay. Because of the side effects. Okay. Side effects. Yeah. And have you ever tested a product, guys? Have you ever tested a product? In my case, I do, teacher. Or, okay, I have, all right. Um, when and where, Jose, and what have you tasted? I, I taste products every day. 
because I work in a production factory. Very good. So and... I have I have to to taste the production to mm -hmm. avoid uh, problems with the clients and avoid the disagreement of the part of them. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. So yes, as uh, you were mentioning, guys, basically it's really important to avoid disagreements, right? To avoid side effects, right? To check if the product has the characteristics that we need that we actually need to reach the goals that we need to reach right with the product, etc. That is correct? Yes. Okay, so I need two volunteers. One is going to be Alejandro and the other one is going to be Father. Me, teacher. Thank you. Carlos, you are Alejandro and Father? Mm -hmm. Me, Thank you. Maurice. Hey. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do what do we do? Uh, first, I think this thing and handling test will be the will be the best option because it's a lot customer to see the product. Mm -hmm. Feel it, smell it, and. Test it. Mm -hmm. What about the other variables? Mm -hmm. Will the product be branded or not? Mm -hmm. I'll let you decide on that song. Very good. Great. As for the me, me too. I was thinking about the monarchy. Consumers will will eat and test our product first, and then will will rate rate it. I'm find I'm finding more coherent for our new product, mm -hmm. the Papa sandwich. Papa sandwich. Uh, you're learning some. Mm -hmm. Learning some. Mm -hmm. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype or target audience, market, marketing, etc. 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 Yes. Et Excellent. Okay, thank you. All right. So first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. This word is sight. Sight and handling test. Sight. Yes, uh, this one is going to be taste, taste, yes. And this one, method, method, okay, Me method. method, yes. Method. Okay, guys, according to this role play, what type of test do they decide to apply? What type of test? Monetic. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm, but read right here. Handling, handling test. Yes, it is going to be the site and handling test. Yes. And then it says, uh, right here, as for the method, in this case, what is the testing method that they will implement? Okay. It is going to be uh, the mm -hmm. monadic, right? Mm -hmm. monadic. Yes. And the last one, what are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new Papa's sandwich? Mm -hmm. Uh, eat and taste and test uh, the the product first. Yes, but actually it's going to be they have to discuss about the potential customers, the prototype, 
the target audience, the marketing, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, very good, right? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of sight? Vista. Vista, right? El sentido de la vista, ¿cómo se dice? Sight. Vista y manejo. La vista. En handle. Sería vista y manejo, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So now, let's work on this. But, okay, in order for us to um, complete this activity, we need to recall what we cover um, on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So in this case, um, what we cover, the types of tests. I have added that, that slide here, okay? So you can remember. So what we need to do is that we need to choose the best type of test for each of these products, yes? What do you think is the best type of test from those? Yes, from those. And if you consider that we can use methods as well, you can go ahead and add it, right? But I need to choose at least three, okay? Not all of them, at least three. You decide with your team, yeah? So we have pulsas, video games, perfume, tablets, jeans, candies, shoes, coffee. Yeah, you decide which three products you want to choose, right? And what you need to do is you just need to decide what type of method or test, yeah, is the best one for each. Yeah, remember, just three. I'll give you around five to six minutes in order for you to discuss, and then you are going to um, tell us what do you think about this, okay? We're going to come back, yeah? So do you have any question, any doubt? No? Okay. So let me just create the breakout rooms and we may work. We need to choose only one or but only three, excuse me. Only three. 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 Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, Pablo. What fruit? Pablo. Teacher, disculpa, este, no, no, no logré escuchar muy bien lo que, lo que dijo. Ok. Eh, se, me, se me estaba yendo la señal. De, de, de. Yes. Ok, guys. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Vladimir, he has the presentation, right? Um, yes, guys. Correct. You need to choose three products. Yeah. Uh, it could be pupusas, video games, perfume, tablets, jeans, candies, shoes, or coffee. Once you have decided which three products you need, uh, you are going to actually talk about, you can move to the next slide. And if you can see the next slide, we have the type of test, yeah, that we can um, actually use, yeah. Then, for example, if you choose pupusa, which is the type of test that you will implement to test the product? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one would you choose? Mm, maybe you would choose the sighting handling test 
Why? Because look at the definition. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements, right, of the product. Mm -hmm. Well, that's in my case, right? If you see that the food is, the pupusas are really good, so you actually want to eat them, right? So then that's what I think, but I don't know if you think the same, right? And if you want, you can choose other products, at least three. And not just one type of test that you will implement. Solamente un tipo de, de, de test que haría para ese producto. Yes? That's the activity. Uh -huh. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So the best, the three products, please. Root mines, classmate, video games. Yes, video games. Yeah, really. Tablets. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Can you smell it too? You can smell it and taste it. Yeah. So, teacher, we are going to put the how we are going to test it or or what? Yes, you are. Mm, mm, what you need to do is that you only need to add the type of test, right? And yeah. then you are going to explain why. But that will be with your own words, right? You just add the type of test next to the the product. Okay. Uh huh. And then you speak, right? Yeah. Do not write your like explanation because I want you to speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for pupusas, which type of test would you implement? Okay. Why? Uh, because you need to to taste the flavor if you are cooking good or you are using the correct ingredients. In mm -hmm. the case you are inventing a new flavor. Okay. And maybe for those types of tests that we can find in the, the book, I think blind test is a good it's a good way to 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 do it because you don't see the pupusa, you only taste it. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Like that. Okay. Then you continue with the other two. Very good. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, you need to um, show and taste the pupusa. I think that the way is designed and handling test, maybe. Or, um, teacher, we can change the use test like a food test with taste test. Um, because it's a pupusa, you, you can mm -hmm. uh, make a use test, you can make a, a degustation test or, or, or taste 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 test testing. taste testing uh, yes uh, yes you can yes you can it's switch the the the, yes. the yeah. number okay what do you think about atilio and carla it makes sense to you that making a sign size and handling test on or maybe the um, degustation test mm -hmm. Uh, Brandon mm -hmm. test and blind test is different because in uh, the branded test maybe is um I don't know if it is the is this type of test applied to the pupusas <laughs> branded. Maybe I think not. that yes. Uh huh. The blind, I think that yes, the maybe. Blind, yes, but a branded test, no. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Mm, maybe if you focus on the brand, people sometimes they focus on the brand when it comes to the to actually to the uh to the flower, right? But I don't know. But, but in this case, the the you, the purpose is a national brand. 
Yes. You cannot make a owner of the pupusas or the recipe of the pupusa. I, I, maybe I do that, but but in this world, in this crazy world, it all is possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, but I think that the probably that one now is that do not apply. That one no. Blind test, yes, I think. Blind test. The blind. Uh -huh. Because on this one, the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand, right? Let me see. Uh-huh. Degustation test, like use test. Mm -hmm. Use degustation test. Mm -hmm. Prueba de degustación. Maybe you are you are uh, making a concha pupusa. <laughs> pupusa with conchas. I don't know. Maybe or oyster or I'm whatever. And, and okay. salsa negra. Uh huh. It's or salsa negra. In my sal, sal, sal black. Black sauce. Yeah, sauce. Black sauce. Black sauce. No, black. Black salsa. The name salsa is. It's particular uh, for the Latin American, and then it uh, it doesn't exist in 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 English, I think. Salsa. No exist in English. No, sauce. No. no, sauce is is so sauce is like sausage. I don't know, but salsa, salsa. Yeah. And then let me try to to okay. to use the deep the deep uh, um. Translator. The deep translator. Uh, yes. Salsa. Yeah. And and uh you know, Tony, I think that instead of degustation, I think that it's better to add tasting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tasting. Okay. Yeah, it's better. Uh -huh. Correct, like that. Tasting test. Black uh -huh. sauce is sauce. Sauce. Uh -huh. Sauce. Yeah. Black sauce. House, like um, um, in this case, it's black sauce. <laughs> sauce. 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 And curtido. 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 What? What do you say, curtido? No, that one we don't have any any translation for curtido, guys. Curtido. Tanning. Tan. Ah, tanning. but this is this is a a practice. La to to make the color to the letter. Uh huh. No, that one. No, but it's it, not. it is different. The two yes. are different. Tiny, tiny. No. No, no. but then is is for for make a different color with the with the cuero letter. Leather. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Leather. 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 Because, because letter is a. a yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, curtido. No, guys. That is something that. Is like from here, right? So, no, we don't oh, have Latin American translation. Uh -huh. Yeah, we don't have translation on that one. Oh. It is curtido. Okay. You feel it, Carlita. <laughs> curtido. Okay, okay. Uh, in this case, but mm. uh, we need to make a, a test with video games. What method or what? Process to 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 prove the video games. Would you like to use 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 test use test? Uh, uh -huh. um, branded test. Branded test. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um. And side and handling test is two. Mm -hmm. And guys, and um, writing, no, writing text, well, as you know, blinding test, no, why, well, how, maybe how do you make a only test, 
Um, um, <laughs> new, new generation. <laughs> Branding test. <Ojo. laughs> Repítale la idea que no le entendí. La nueva generación se va ciega. Mm, también. Ok. Yeah. No, dice teacher. Bueno. Ok. Y el de coffee de same pupusa. Es a uh, same. Yes. yes. Sign and handling blind test. How do you make a blind test with the coffee? Tell me. Blind test, then I'm quick. <laughs> Maybe Brother, if you definitely. have a different cups and uh, Okay, are you done? No, we put the explanation about one topic. Ow. Well, okay, the right of the topic is because you can focus on flavor. Yes, no, you don't have to look for the brand, right? Ah, uh, being impartial. Yes. Okay, because... Client? Okay, focus. Focus? On flavor. Play? Play flower with it. Um. Flavor. Flavor. Okay. No, flay, flay, F L. Yes, flavor. Flavor. Okay. Okay, guys, you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I think that you are the first team that finished. Okay, let's let's go back. Give me one second. Okay, I'll give. Um, yes, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so um, let me see. Um, we have Jonathan, Carlos. Okay, Vladimir, can you please present and your team? Okay. Okay.
our team uh, choice video games, okay. tablet, and shoes. Okay. The method to test to video games is just test. The customer okay. take the product to be used mm -hmm. either as a sample for our another extend period. As they would usually using the day or home. Okay. Uh, for tablet, yeah. it is the same method of test, use test. Okay. <clears throat> and, sho and shoes, shoes. you show is a blind test. Oh, blind, blind test. Blind test. Blind, blind, blind test. Yes. The product are test unbranded, so the customer mm. focus strictly mm. on the product's charter and oh. not on the brand name. All right. Only that. Okay. Um. Very good. Just pronunciation characteristic. 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 And yeah, when you want to say um our team uh chose chose okay choose is okay. present yeah I chose okay very good all right uh, Tony and your team okay I'm going to share my my screen yes okay I'm going to talk about the, um, the proposals, Carla, the video games, and Atilio, the coffee. Okay. Okay. Um, we choose this free product because um, um, I like it. Carla <laughs> liked too much video games. Um, for me, the, the, the official um, play double Salvador proposals and Atilio is addicted to the coffee. And okay. <clears throat> uh, within that, the best way to 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 make a better pupusa is sight and hunting test because you can see the pupusa, smell the pupusa, touch the pupusa, and eat the pupusa is the most important. Okay. And the blind test maybe is used when you have a new barrier barriers of the of the this plate, and mm -hmm. you can um share with the, the new customer and new clients a, a different option and uh, you prepare the pupusa and then uh, the the clients or the customer uh, uh, smell uh, mm -hmm. eyes or blinded to to assimilate or to um, prove in different uh, textures uh, smells and, and flavors uh, and this is the way to the making a tasting test. Uh, but in this case, you have the, the uncovered eyes to, to see better the, the, the product. And um, about the metal, uh, we think that is the favorite comparison test because you can select the, the, the normal flavor with the new different flavor and uh, you make a comparison or you make a uh the the best the, the best uh, flavor colors or or, or the notes uh, and then you classify the different products okay carla the video games okay. i when i choose video games the first use this because uh, it's necessary for create video games are testing Mm -hmm. for the users for uh, any uh, errors mm -hmm. uh, um, branding test because it's necessary uh, try the video games in the in the computers for okay. users mm -hmm. uh, Sai and Hanley test. Uh, because it's uh, it's necessary <laughs> for, 
for the users. Uh, um, is friendly for the users. Okay. And monadic method. Uh, because. Uh, The user is necessary use the video games in real real circumstance. Okay. Very good. Uh, coffee. Uh, it's necessary and uh, sing and um, hand and test. Um, blind test, test test, and party compare uh, compare test. Uh, 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 bring the test to validate the power of tested and compare squeeze of other product to see the quality. Okay. Only. Okay, that's it. All right. Um. Okay. So very good. Uh, same thing. Pronunciation, okay? That's basically the area of, of improvement that we have. Guys, whenever we want to say comparar, hacer una comparación, uh, you make a comparison. Comparison, okay? Comparison. And yes, comparison. comparison. And okay. errores se pronuncia errors. 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 Mistakes, too. Or mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Then el pasado de choose. Chose. 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 Blind. No blind, blind. Okay? blind. Blind mm -hmm. and tasting, tasting, tasting. Okay, the last team, which is the one where Jose, eh, Nelly, Raúl, Wendy, and Juan Jose were, and Carlos Omar as well. Okay, uh, we chose uh, who puts us coffee and shoes, and we talk the best taste for each one. Beginning for the pupusas is the fair comparison test because you need to know if your flavors are best, and you make the test comparison with other in this case pupusas or mm -hmm. another brand mm -hmm. and for coffee the blindest because it's the best way that you don't you are impartial and don't how do you say you don't judge okay mm -hmm. and if you don't know the brand of the coffee, you are you are not uh, maybe predisposed. No. Yes. 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 That's uh, you don't get influenced by the okay. name of, of of a brand, mm -hmm. so you are impartial with the flavor. Uh -huh. And with the shoes, the monadic monadic metals. That's why. Uh, you can taste, you don't need to taste only in a laboratory. You can taste them in a field. Mm -hmm. So you are going to taste uh, on real art uh, environments. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Perfect in the real environment excellent very good okay well done all right guys very interesting okay very good guys i really like that you all participate right and that's something really good okay so i'm going to take the attendance 
Aleida Esmeralda Amaya, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher, Aleida dice que va a estar en el hospital. Ah, yes, I saw uh, her message. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson. Yeah, he didn't connect today. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. I'm here. Thank you. George Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Yes. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Kenya. Yes, thank you. Um, Luis Miguel Corbera. Present. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marian Scarlett. No. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Thank you. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. And, Wil and Wilber Jonathan Bautista. Wilber? No? Okay. Let me see. Okay, Kenya, thank you. All right, guys, so let's continue. So in this case, what we are going to continue with is going to be with the information about transition words. Let me ask you something. Okay, so who knows what are transition words and when do we use them? Mm -hmm. Do you know about transition words? Nobody? No, teacher, me no. It's the okay. same as from the auction. Okay, all right. So, mm, no, no, those are not the same, Jonathan, but are similar, okay? But they are not the same. But yes, you have the idea. So, let's see, Carlos, Omar, can you please help us reading this information? Okay. Uh, transitions were held linked clients with evidence and evidence with re reasoning. They are like the glue of the CR paragraph. Mm -hmm. Transitions are important because they connect ideas, show the relationship, and help the reader progress through all writing. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So transition words in this case, as you can see right here, those are help links. I mean, those are like linking words. We have different names um, in which we call transition words. Transition words can be called linking words, okay? And those two type of uh, things are the same. Yeah, transition words and linking words, they are the same, yeah? They uh, those transition words help us to, I would say, to improve our speaking and also our writing, because most of the time we need to use transition words whenever we want to join ideas, right? In this case, as you can see right here, we have um, some examples: in addition, as a result, 
for instance, for example, furthermore, right? So those are um, just common transition words that we can use whenever we are writing something or whenever we are trying to join ideas, yeah? So using transition words, as you can see right here, in our writing can help you enhance. What is enhance? Give me a synonym in English for enhance. Mm -hmm. huh? What is it? Enhance. What is enhance? Mm -hmm. No? And Okay. All the time I said, but enhance. Okay. Enhance. Mm, not exactly. Enhance, guys, is going to be improve. So using transition words in your writing can help you improve the readability of your content, right? So in this case, um, as you can see, Transitions are important because they connect ideas and they show relationships and help the reader, the reader progress through their writing, yeah? In this case, um, let's take a look at some examples, but first we are going to move to a role play, okay, from the book. So you can identify why we are going to study transition words right now. So I need one volunteer to be Moises, and the other one is going to be Fernanda. So I need two volunteers. Me teacher. Me teacher. Thank you. Jonathan, you are Moises, and Carlos, you are Fernanda. Okay. How do you make any process with the set, with the sample section, set selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of the leads, 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with target or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will monitor in each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find, to find out the overall perception of the product we 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 will go for the random sample yes for the more it's necessary to create a well the scene the scenes questionnaire to get the specific information we require i'll meet luca today in the afternoon so we work on it okay thank you so this one is going to be well designed well designed yes guys as you can see right here on this role play we have uh, just two examples of transition words right so we have in addition and we also have furthermore so the first question how many focus groups will participate in the test according to this short um role play three three groups three, oh three groups Three groups, right? Yes, very good. And what type of sample has Fernando selected for their testing process? Mm -hmm. According to this role play, guys. The overall perception of the product. Mm, look at this. We work, uh, uh -huh. we work with target or random samples in addition. Yes, and here we will go for a random sample. Yeah, here we have the answer for number two. Yeah, and number three, who will design the questionnaire? Who? Moises and Lucas. Very good, they both. Very good, excellent. Okay, so in this case, what is the meaning of sample? 
ejemplo. Sí, es una muestra. muestra. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now, guys, let's move to transition words, which is the um the main point right now. Okay, transition words. So, um, Tony, help us reading, please, this part, all of this. Okay, all of this. Okay. In this sentence, oh, okay. Transition transition words like in addition, fewer, more. Moreover, and besides, add information, reinforces idea, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. Yes. In the sentence, letter A, will be worked with targeted on random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of each. Yes. Letter B, further more, further more. You read more, huh? Okay. It's necessary okay. to increase a will design a questionnaire to get the specific information we require. Okay. In the sentence, letter C, in order to select a focus group to test a product, it's important to gather a group of participants who make direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator, a moderator for every group. Very good. Okay. So now, um, pronunciation. Okay, guys. This one it's um in addition, and this one will be furthermore. Okay. Further. Like for furthermore. Furthermore. Further. Furthermore. Moreover, and besides. Okay. Those. Four transition words or linking words help us adding information to reinforce ideas and express agreement with ideas that had been presented previously. They just add ideas. Yeah. Do you know what is the meaning of furthermore? Moreover, and besides. No, all of them, all of them, they mean además. They add information. In addition, it's also en adición, además. It's the same. Those are synonyms for you not to use the same transition word. You can use in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides in the same paragraph. If you want to say many times, además. Yes. So in this case, we have many transition words. We have a lot of transition words, right? Today, we are going to focus just on some of them. Yeah. But what is really important right now is that you start understanding the meaning, yeah, of each transition word and that you must use them to enhance your writing and your speaking. Yeah. So then um, let's explore transition words and let's take a look at uh, one example, okay? Right now, as you can see, we have text A and we also have text B. On text A, we do not have transition words, but on text B, we do have transition words, yeah? So I need one volunteer to read text A and the other one is going to read text B. Me, teacher. Thank you. Carlos, you are going to read text A and the other one? Okay, text B. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, go, Carlos. Okay. I'm going to discuss of a few reasons why practice is important, important to learning skills. The only way they truly master a skill is by actually actually doing doing what what you you had you had to do in the real world. 
I think practice can be a fine. A fine. Find way uh, uh, a beauty in the necessary hour. There are some people who will dis dis disagree. It is say that people tend to remember only 10 or 20% of what they heard Take or on. read. <clears throat> that, that number rises to as much uh, 90% when you put the theory of Theory the to practice. Following mm -hmm. out explanation with practice is the key to mastering a, a skill. Casi no veo. <laughs> no, it's key. Okay, key. Mm -hmm. It's key to mastering a, a skill. All right, this one is key. Key. Key, okay. Like that. Text B. In this paragraph, I'm going to discuss a few reasons why practice is important the mastering skills. Firstly, the only way to truly learn a skill is by actually doing what you have to do in the real world. Secondly, I think practice practice can be a fun way of putting in the necessary hours. There, there are, however, some people who will disagree thoroughly and most importantly, uh, it is said that people tend to remember only 10 and 20% of what they real, uh, read or hear. Moreover, that number rise to as much as 90% when you put theory to practice. In conclusion, following up explanation with the practices is key to mastering Mastering a skills. Perfect. Okay. Mastering a skill. Okay, guys. Well, first of all, what the paragraph uh the paragraph says, right, is true. It is says that there are some people who will disagree. It is said that people tend to remember only 10 to 20 percent of what they've heard or read. And that is true because if I ask you what did we cover on Monday? Most of you don't remember, right? If I ask you, what did we yeah. study on Monday? You don't, you don't remember, right? So um, maybe you remember about the things that you talk about, about the listening, about something that is really like, um, maybe that you found kind of difficult, right? Or maybe that, uh, that part that you really uh, enjoyed, on that day, right? But not everything, and that is true. So in this case, it says that number rises to as much as 90% when you put theory to practice. And that's why you need to practice. Yeah, if you don't practice, you won't learn. And you will keep saying, I don't learn, but it's because you do not practice. That's the, 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 the truth, right? If you don't practice, you won't learn. Just with theory, you won't learn, okay? You need to practice. So in this case, as you can see right here, we have text B. And on text B, we do have some transition words. And you can see that those are in bold, right? Maybe you I will see it like it is the same, but actually no. When it comes to probably identifying the English level, this one is going to be kind of uh, basic, right? This one. And this one is going to be advanced. Yes. So you need to write like this. Okay. Not like this, because like this, I mean, you already moved right from basic. Now, our goal is you writing like this with transition words. And we also have another example, not in a paragraph, probably in a kind of sentence, right? So we have, the proposed solution to the problem did not work. Therefore, we attempted a second solution. However, this solution was also unsuccessful. Teacher, this, this words are more useful to 
to avoid sound like a robot. Yes. And you sound better, of course, with transition words, right? You do not sound like, yeah, like a robot. Or you do not use and, 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 or, or, right? So you use therefore, however, nevertheless, moreover, furthermore, while, meanwhile, etc. So what you need to learn is at least two or three transition words per category, right? And which type of category am I talking about? In this case, as you can see right here, we have transition words for cause and effect, clarification, contrast, example, emphasis, enumeration, and we also have time, similarity, and to summarize or conclude. We have some examples. Of course, there are many other ones. Yeah. But those are just examples for you to know that we have different type of transition words. Cause and effect. We have therefore, as a result, so, and consequently. As you can see, we have so. So is a transition word. Mm -hmm. So it says, I'm tired, therefore I'm going to bed. What is the meaning of therefore? Therefore me means, por lo tanto. I'm tired, therefore I'm going to bed. So, me estoy cansado, cansada, por lo tanto me voy a la cama. Instead of saying, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. I mean, you can say it, right? Teacher, but if you I, add more. Mm -hmm. I'm confused because you say that, that therefore, however, um, what is the, the, the other? Um, uh, I don't remember, but there's además. además no. But in these cases? No. In this case, además, in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. Hmm. In Don't. this case, is uh -huh, exactly in addition to put it furthermore, moreover, and besides. This is además. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we have therefore. Hmm. Okay. And this one is. Por lo tanto, causa y efecto. Por lo tanto. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, is not like food for them. Uh -huh. I, uh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, very good. So, therefore, is por lo tanto. Yeah. Then we also have the ones for clarification, for you to clarify your ideas. Yeah, so we have, that is to say, okay, what is the meaning of that is to say? That is to say means, es decir. That in other good. words, en otras palabras. To clarify, para clarificar. Look at the example. We are letting you go. In other words, you are fired. We are letting you go. That is to say, you are fired. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, to contrast, para hacer un contraste. Those are really, really useful. Okay. But, however, on the other hand, I am not fond of fruit. However, I do like bananas. What is the meaning of this, fond of? Como no encontré. Oh, no, that is found. But this one is fun. Fun. Yeah. Uh, with a view, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, somebody else? It's like, uh, I don't like. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not fond of fruit. It means like, I'm not a big fan. I do not like that. Yes. So it's like saying, um, I'm not a big fan of fruit. I don't like fruit. However, right, I do like bananas. Sin embargo, contrastando la idea que está diciendo aquí, sin embargo, sí me gustan las bananas. Teacher. Mm -hmm. mm, fun es el tiempo. ¿Qué tiempo es de fan? Es lo que no entendí. Fan es como que yo soy este, adicto, come, que a mí me gusta, que, que yo lo sigo, que yo lo quiero. Pero este fun, no, no, no. Pensé que era un, un error de, de gramática. No, no. No es un eh, tiempo diferente, es, mm, es como otro sinónimo, entonces. No, en ese caso, found of eh, no es un tiempo verbal, sino que found of es un adjetivo. En, en este caso, eh, es como un noun aquí en esta oración. Es un noun. Pero no es la unión un found of. Font of es como decir aficionado, fanático, a, ah, de, de algo. Usted puede decir, I'm not fond of reggaeton, I'm not fond of uh, pupusas, I'm not fond of uh, horror movies. That means that you do not like that type okay. of things. Uh -huh. uh, teacher, fond of is a noun. Alone? Uh, one up, no. Is it a noun? Uh, it's like an adjective or it could work as a noun. Okay. Yeah. That means aficionado. Yes. Then we also have the ones for example. The ones for example, for example, or for instance, right? That the most common one is, for example, but we can use for instance. In the evening, I like to relax. For instance, I enjoy watching TV. Yeah, for instance means, for example. Like, for example, okay. Yeah, it's the same, the same thing. Then we also have the ones for you to add emphasis. Above all, most importantly, and certainly. Uh, Tony, help us reading the, the example, please. There are many reasons to exercise regularly. Above all, it mm -hmm. keeps you healthy. Yes. Above all. Yes. What is the meaning of above all? Sobre todo. Correct. Sobre todo. Right. Above all, it keeps you healthy. Sobre todo, te mantiene saludable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, we also have most importantly. What is the meaning of most importantly? Mm -hmm. Any idea? El más importante o el más o el qué más importante? Yeah, you know, guys. Um, in this case, yes. Um, most importantly and certainly and above all, those three are synonyms that they mean sobre todo. They mean the same. Significa lo mismo. Si usted lo quiere interpretar como 
lo más importante también se puede interpretar como lo más importante. ¿Ok? Pero al final significa sobre todo, lo más importante. Right? Certainly es como ciertamente pensé que era, por eso lo, lo, lo traduje así o, o lo deduje así. Eh, ciertamente. Certainly means like indudablemente o it could mean definitivamente. Hmm. Um, cuando cuando alguien le dice um, in this case it depends on the context that we can also interpret uh, certainly For example, la, lo más común, the most common type of, uh, I would say, situation, guys, is whenever someone asks you for help, right? And the person says, uh, can you help me? Certainly. And you say, and you are saying, definitivamente, claro que sí, indudablemente. Certainly. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, well, enumeration, well, you know these ones, right? Firstly, secondly, further, and moreover, in addition, when you are describing the steps. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes when you are learning basic, right, they teach you um, how the sequence, sequence words, right? They teach you that. And you have firstly, secondly, farther, and moreover, in addition. Okay. Uh -huh. And we have, today I'm going to write a post. In addition, I'm recording some video lessons, right? Además, in addition. Uh -huh. Then we also have the ones, the transition words for time. Meanwhile. What is the meaning? Mientras tanto. Mientras tanto, right? This is a transition word. During, subsequently, after that, you know what that is, right? Uh -huh. So I'll start by telling you what transition words are. After that, I'll tell you why you should always use them. And we also have similarity. Likewise, similarly, in the same vein. Yeah. She tried really hard to entertain her guests. Similarly, he put all his heart and soul in cooking a great dinner. De la misma manera. And likewise, it's the same. Yes. Igualmente, de la misma manera. Likewise, guys, is very common. It's an expression as well. It's a transition word, but it's also an expression. When someone um, tells you, right? For example, have a great day. Have a good day. Have an amazing day. And you can reply. You can say, hey, likewise. Igualmente. Likewise. Instead of saying you too. That one is basic. You too. You should say likewise. Or in you the as same well. Vein? In the same vein? Too. In this one, in the same way, yes. But this is, um, I mean, as a transition word, they mean um, similarmente, igualmente. But likewise is also an expression. But it's not related to transition words. Esa es una expresión también que no es nada de transition words. Es una expresión también. It's in the same vein. No in way. In no. Same yes, in the same vein. But we also have in the same um at the same in the same way. Sí, también está dentro de aquí. But aquí no la tenemos. Right. But yes. And we also have the last ones, summarize and conclude. In conclusion, to sum up and in short. 
Yes. And we have in conclusion, transition words are important aspect of SEO copywriting. Okay, guys. Remember that in this case, we have examples for each category. There are many that we are still missing in each category. Yes. So in this case, um, the most important part is that you start identifying what is a transition word. Once you see this type of words, those are transition, those. And I'm pretty sure you all have seen those words, right? Uh -huh. So now let's see. Let's read each sentence and let's identify the transition word. Okay, so on sentence number one, which is the transition word? Lastly. Yes, lastly. Okay, number two, which is the transition word? As a result. As a result, number three. After that. After, After that, that, four. To conclude. To conclude, conclude, five. Next. Next. Number six. Instead. 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 Uh -huh. uh, seven. Zoom it. To sum it up. To sum it up. And number eight. In conclusion. In conclusion. In conclusion. Okay. So you see, I mean, you know transition words, but maybe the topic itself, right? But yes, those are transition words. So every time that you see this type of words, those are called transition words. Yeah. So next time that you see on an exam, they say use transition words, you know that they mean this, 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 this. Okay. So those are transition words. So now let's move and let's start with the writing task. Okay. What I need to do is this. And we're going to do this individually, okay? Here in the main session, okay? So we are going to work on this individually. So we have from one to eight. It says, finish the sentences about you. Use the present simple tense. For example, I usually study hard for a test. As a result, I get good grades. That is my example. What about you? I have a 10. Okay. As a result, I get a 10. Okay. Somebody else? Ham? For number one, I usually study hard for a test. As a result, I approve the subject. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now I need you to write down the sentence, okay? Ahora sí. Email en el chat, send it to the chat number two. I always try to be careful. Nevertheless, what is nevertheless? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, aún así. And send your sentence to the chat, okay? I get sick. Okay, I get sick. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Then number three, I know how to do many things. In fact, de hecho, uh -huh. Uh 
I learned those things in the university. Okay. Nevertheless, I fell on the street. Yes. Very good. Okay, number three. I know how to do many things. In fact, um, de hecho, There are things, there are many things to learn. Okay, there are many things to learn, okay. Number four, I like to study English. However, sin embargo. I like to study Portuguese too. However, I would like to study Portuguese as well. Okay. Okay. Number five. Sometimes I don't have time for breakfast. Therefore, por lo tanto, I just eat a sandwich. I just eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes I don't have time for breakfast. Therefore, I don't eat. I jump in with breakfast. Okay. Number six, I have several hobbies. For example, For example, reading books, right? Doing exercise. Um, soccer. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Number seven. I can speak English in addition. Además. can speak Spanish. <laughs> I can't speak English. In addition, I can <laughs> speak Spanish. Yes, of course, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm speaking English. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. And the last one. I love weekends and holidays. On the other hand, What is the meaning on the other hand, teacher? It's like saying, uh, por otra parte. Por otra parte. Yeah. I love weekends and holidays. On the other hand. Well, they are too short. Uh-huh. They are too short. Um, okay. I need more vacations. On the other hand, I need more vacations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Very good, guys. So try to um try to complete this, okay, on your own. All right, but try to do it because this is very important. Okay. This is very important.
Okay, let's continue, let's move. We still have some practices. Okay, so we are going to take the listening quizzes, yeah? So for the listening quizzes, we have uh, stories, okay? Those um, two listenings, the ones that we are going to take today are kind of different from the other ones because um, those are not like conversations. Those are short stories, okay? There you go. You have the first one right there. And the passcode is the same, listening. Let me see, yes. So try to pay attention because this is not a conversation. This is a short story, okay? Let me know once you are ready. Mm -hmm. Ready. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play this two times. Okay, I'm going to ask you if you need an extra time, but if not, just two times. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. One sunny day, a father and his six-year-old daughter set out on an adventure to the beach. They packed their sunscreen, towels, and a bucket for collecting seashells. When they arrived, the little girl immediately ran to the shoreline, eager to feel the sand between her toes. The father followed behind, keeping a watchful eye on her. As they walked along the beach, the little girl spotted something buried in the sand. Look, Daddy, a clam, she exclaimed. The father smiled and helped her dig it out of the sand. They examined the clam and then returned it to the water. Next, they came across a starfish that had washed up on shore. The little girl was fascinated by its shape and texture. The father picked it up and explained how starfish can regenerate their arms if they lose them. After that, they decided to build a sand castle. The little girl was in charge of collecting shells to decorate the castle, while the father worked on building the structure. They worked together, laughing and joking as they built the sand castle. Finally, the castle was finished, and they admired their work. Just as they were about to leave, the little girl spotted a seagull swooping down to steal a snack from a nearby family. She ran over and scared the seagull away, making everyone laugh. As they walked back to their car, the little girl turned to her father and said, Today was the best day ever, Daddy. I can't wait to come back to the beach and find more clams and starfish and build more sand castles. The father smiled, knowing that this was a day they would both remember for a long time. Okay. The second time. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. One sunny day, a father and his six-year-old daughter set out on an adventure to the beach. They packed their sunscreen, towels, and a bucket for collecting seashells. When they arrived, the little girl immediately ran to the shoreline, eager to feel the sand between her toes. The father followed behind, keeping a watchful eye on her. As they walked along the beach, the little girl spotted something buried in the sand. Look, Daddy! A clam! she exclaimed. The father smiled and helped her dig it out of the sand. They examined the clam and then returned it to the water. Next, they came across a starfish that had washed up on shore. The little girl was fascinated by its shape and texture. The father picked it up and explained how starfish can regenerate their arms if they lose them. After that, they decided to build a sand castle. The little girl was in charge of collecting shells to decorate the castle, while the father worked on building the structure. They worked together, laughing and joking as they built the sand castle. Finally, the castle was finished, and they admired their work. Just as they were about to leave, the little girl spotted a seagull swooping down to steal a snack from a nearby family. She ran over and scared the seagull away, making everyone laugh. As they walked back to their car, the little girl turned to her father and said, Today was the best day ever, Daddy. I can't wait to come back to the beach and find more clams and starfish and build more sand castles. The father smiled, knowing that this was a day they would both remember for a long time. 
Okay. Do you need me to play it an extra time? One more time. One more time? Okay. Yes, because I don't understand uh, okay. how, how they used to build their uh, sun castle. Okay. I, I, I don't listen. Okay, here we go. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. One sunny day, a father and his six-year-old daughter set out on an adventure to the beach. They packed their sunscreen, towels, and a bucket for collecting seashells. When they arrived, the little girl immediately ran to the shoreline, eager to feel the sand between her toes. The father followed behind, keeping a watchful eye on her. As they walked along the beach, the little girl spotted something buried in the sand. Look, Daddy! A clam! she exclaimed. The father smiled and helped her dig it out of the sand. They examined the clam and then returned it to the water. Next, they came across a starfish that had washed up on shore. The little girl was fascinated by its shape and texture. The father picked it up and explained how starfish can regenerate their arms if they lose them. <laughs> After that, they decided to build a sand castle. The little girl was in charge of collecting shells to decorate the castle, while the father worked on building the structure. They worked together, laughing and joking as they built the sand castle. Finally, the castle was finished, and they admired their work. Just as they were about to leave, the little girl spotted a seagull swooping down to steal a snack from a nearby family. She ran over and scared the seagull away, making everyone laugh. As they walked back to their car, the little girl turned to her father and said, Today was the best day ever, Daddy. I can't wait to come back to the beach and find more clams and starfish and build more sand castles. The father smiled, knowing that this was a day they would both remember for a long time. Okay. All right, guys, so submit your answers. All right. Okay, let's take the other one. All right, let's take the other one. Um, there you go. The same passcode is going to be listening. Let me see. Okay. All right, here we go. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. Jenny always wanted to become an actress, and she joined a famous acting school in town to start off her career. But soon, she realized that acting was like a balancing act. She had to learn the basic acting skills while also juggling her part-time job at a fancy restaurant. Jenny was originally from a small town and didn't know much about the big city. One day, while working at the restaurant, a high and mighty customer ordered a dish that Jenny had never heard of before. She didn't want to look dumb, so she pretended to know what it was and wrote it down. As she was serving the dish to the customer, she realized that she had messed it up. The customer got angry and said, don't you know how to do your job? Jenny felt embarrassed, but tried to stay calm. She knew that being an actress was tough, but she never thought that her part-time job would be too. She continued to work hard and rehearse her lines every day. One day, while in class, her phone rang. It was her boss asking her to come to work immediately. Jenny knew that it was going to be tough, but she couldn't say no. When she arrived at the restaurant, the same high and mighty customer from before was there. The customer sneered at her and said, what are you doing here? I thought you were a fancy actress. Jenny smiled and replied, yes, but being a waitress is just another form of acting. It's all about balancing the needs of the customers with my own needs. 
The customer looked surprised but didn't say anything else. In the end, Jenny managed to pull off the balancing act, both at acting school and at her part-time job. She knew that being an actress was going to be tough, but she was determined to make it work. Okay, here we go again. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. Jenny always wanted to become an actress, and she joined a famous acting school in town to start off her career. But soon, she realized that acting was like a balancing act. She had to learn the basic acting skills while also juggling her part-time job at a fancy restaurant. Jenny was originally from a small town and didn't know much about the big city. One day, while working at the restaurant, a high and mighty customer ordered a dish that Jenny had never heard of before. She didn't want to look dumb, so she pretended to know what it was and wrote it down. As she was serving the dish to the customer, she realized that she had messed it up. The customer got angry and said, don't you know how to do your job? Jenny felt embarrassed, but tried to stay calm. She knew that being an actress was tough, but she never thought that her part-time job would be too. She continued to work hard and rehearse her lines every day. One day, while in class, her phone rang. It was her boss asking her to come to work immediately. Jenny knew that it was going to be tough, but she couldn't say no. When she arrived at the restaurant, the same high and mighty customer from before was there. The customer sneered at her and said, what are you doing here? I thought you were a fancy actress. Jenny smiled and replied, Yes, but being a waitress is just another form of acting. It's all about balancing the needs of the customers with my own needs. The customer looked surprised but didn't say anything else. In the end, Jenny managed to pull off the balancing act, both at acting school and at her part-time job. She knew that being an actress was going to be tough, but she was determined to make it work. Okay, ready? Or not ready? Yes? Okay. Mm. Submit your answers, okay? Let's see. Very good, I got... Jonathan, Jose, Raul, Juan, Antonio, and Nelly, okay, Roberto, okay. Let me see the other ones, okay. Okay. All right, were they difficult? Not enough. Yes, they, yes. Okay, but all right, I can see that um, some of you got 100, right, on both. So very good. I mean, we're going to improve, okay? So let's see. Now let's move to the grammar part. And the grammar part is um, general knowledge, right? It's general knowledge is so easy. And the passcode is grammar, okay? All right, so let's give.
Okay, so I think that some of you are still missing. Yeah, okay, I'm getting. Okay, yes, guys. Um, how was that exam? Easy? Mm, in the middle. The drama, yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, guys. So, um, okay, so basically just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but tomorrow we are going to keep uh, covering transition words, okay? So then, guys, um, if you have questions, please ask those questions tomorrow, okay? So I will be prepared if you have any question. And, well, uh, right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. Please, the only person that stays with me, Juan Antonio, then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. Okay, have a good night. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank good night. You. Rest. Okay, good night. Night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you. Good night. Okay. The winner. <laughs> the winner, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, yes. Okay. Uh, Tony, basically, this is going to be our, um, I would say, time for us to, to get to know each other, right? I would like to know about your opinion about those classes that we have had, right? I would like to know about your, um, you know, your educational background when it comes to the English language and any type of question that you may have right now. Yeah. So tell me about first uh, your background in the English language. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yes. Sí, lo veo. Con lo que me paga, me acaba de preguntar es que si yo cómo he visto el desarrollo, ¿verdad? De la de las clases. Yes. First of all, okay. Yeah, tell me about the, the development of the class, the dynamic of the class, right? So what do you think, etc. Yeah, uh, th this dynamic is um, particularly new for me because um, um, with other teachers, the interaction is more closely, um, more uh, an exception with only one teacher. That I have previously in the um, level number six of the basic model. Um, the other teacher is so much um, apegado. I, I don't know how to say apegado, but uh, he he followed the rules, or followed mm -hmm. the, the the structure. They go by the book. Mm -hmm. Exactly by the book, and in this case, um, when I uh, make a costumbre, uh, when I get used to. 
when I get used to 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 do this the, all the classes in in this method, and you change all the the form. Um, previously, uh, I think, oh wow, this is a new form, and I need to learn by this way, and it's different to me. But we need to um, uh, get out of the comfort zone to yes. learn by different ways. And this is good for me because I, I like to 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 learn uh, and in all, all the time, not only in English. But I think that is a a, a good um, a good option to to learn English. Um. Yes, I have uh, a lot of questions. I have a lot of of um of. of Full of knowledge by my 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 part, but I'm trying to 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 understand and then explain to me the same questions in different um forms to understand the the previous lesson or this lesson. Um, I have only two two questions to 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 the um, previous lessons yes but in general I, I liked too much the the new verb to learn english uh, let me check my appointments please yes. <clears throat> when you say what do you think about the background i i don't understand your your question okay the background is like um asking you uh, tell me about all of the years that you have been uh, studying the English language, right? When did you uh, start? Yes. Hmm, okay. Huh? I started to learn in English when I was a boy. Okay. But the um, method of the English uh, lesson in, in my country and in my college yes. is different. It's, it's, it's boring because... This is the, the the reason that I I don't like too much uh, at the start the English lessons, mm -hmm. but um, when um, I follow a, a an option to to learn when I need to know something or or and when I need to acquire new knowledge, uh, I'm autodidact. Uh, how do you say autodidact in English? You can say like uh, learning uh, by myself. Uh, self learner. Self learn. Okay, I'm a self learner, and um, it's not practical, I know, but by the dictionary, yeah. I am trying to understand different words uh, by translating this mm -hmm. because it, this is the, the the most difficult part of me to change. That I'm trying constantly to translate the. Spanish to English and English to Spanish. And when the words is too too fast to say, uh, when I listen to uh, one person that speaks um, very fast, mm -hmm. my translator indicator is uh, at, at full time and, and, and I um, lose time trying to understand the translation options. And, and then... This is my 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 worst part of the English um, mm -hmm. learning that I have, and I'm trying to think in English. But all my life, I'm 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 trying to talk in English, translating all the time, and and this is my 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 um, uh, my my difficult my part. Wait, in wait, yeah. Okay. This is my witness in, in, in by the option as what. Well. Yes. Okay. Um about the answers is let me see. I only need to find okay. the, the option. But yeah. it, this is talking about the the the, um, the classroom and, and the and the option that you have to learn to, to teach. To us, okay. Um, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, yes. The okay. the clouds, the outer clouds of time. Um, yes. 
when you teach us, uh, I don't know if we just right or, or the Tuesday, when you uh, telling about the, the, the three steps, uh, in, in this case, Mm -hmm. In this moment, I learned very well the 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 the, um, the advert of the 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 um, the advert class of times. Okay. The previous this the, this lesson, mm, I don't understand very very well, and I'm trying to 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 improve learning another type of of literature to mm -hmm. to understand, and the, this is the the. Um, the most difficult part of me that uh, I try to translate all the time, the mm -hmm. the subjects or the of the adverb clauses. Okay. But when you explain us the the three steps, mm -hmm. uh, is more more easy. But we have an uh, exception of the rules. We have a uh, uh, a different options or or. Or, um, or exclusions of the of the rules. Um, no, I mean we don't have any type of um exclusion or exceptions in this case. Mm -hmm. We do not have no. Uh, Why? I because when we make a, a an exercise, mm -hmm. um. Like uh, although he was hard, I'm trying in in the um, in the platform to to write in hard thing, uh, or or on on another example, while I was away in college, I trying to to write while uh, away in, but I uh, I I knew but. This is not the 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 correct form because I'm trying to make the word away to a verb or make the word hard hard right. to a verb hard to hurting away to awaiting or away maybe I trying to awaken too and the platform uh, don't let me pass the, in, in yeah. this exam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Those yeah, because are... this is my, my my question about the the exceptions. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, I would say that. Um, okay. Let's leave it like an exception, so you probably understand that term in that in that way. Um. Okay. So whenever we have the verb to be. Yes, whenever we have the verb to be, in this case, this is in past, right? You see those two. So the rule says that we need to delete the subject and the verb to be. And that what goes after the verb to be will remain the same. So in this case, we, we won't change. Because in in the um, in the clauses, if the cloud has any verb, uh, any other verb different be at ing, and this is my case, and I trying to add the ing to the the word await or the word mm -hmm. heart. Yes, but in this case, we are going to add ing to the verbs, but in this case, those are nouns. Away, it's not a verb, so we cannot add ing because remember that we can add ing just to verbs. That means gerunds, right? But if it is not a verb, we cannot add ing because that doesn't exist in English. This is a noun, ese es un nombre, ese no es un verbo. Entonces, no podemos agregarle ing, sino que queda así. Queda así. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. creo que ya entendí, porque yo lo que estaba tratando de hacer es el posterior al, bel, al, al verbo, ¿sí? Sí, porque era 
Yo estoy afuera, pero el verbo es estar, no es afuera. Correcto. Yo estoy herido, el verbo es estar Está. o estoy y no he herido. Ajá. Correcto. Entonces, ese es básicamente como el, lo que, exactamente como me lo explicó, es así como es la regla. Entonces, no, por eso no podemos ponerle ING a lo que sigue, uh -huh. sino que queda así. Caso contrario, cuando tenemos el pasado continuo, que si usted se fija, o el presente continuo, porque después del IS va el ING, pero este sí ya uh -huh. se deja así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Okay, okay. ok, ok. Ok, Sí, y hasta en este ejemplo es que ya me quedó mucho más claro. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, o oh, any other question? Mm, um, en el caso de lo que aprendimos el día de hoy, uh, this new connection works. Yes. Um, the only way that I can understand is using it. Because... Yes. Uh, in, in my case, I train to translate. And in, in this part, I fail, totally fail, uh, because uh, the word connections not make sense in the sentence, in, in the complete sense, by, <laughs> by, by each one. Uh, yes. It's in the group. And, and this part is necessary to me, trying or I'm speaking with the the with all these options and I'm I'm I mean and I'm I'm trying to to use them in different options different uh, sentences and um, in this case for my way um, um, write them and then use with a uh, with a um, uh, example of the of of this day, um, maybe uh, um, mm -hmm. when I need to use whatever. Um, I try and to uh, I'm 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 trying to go to San Martin by different ways. Um, whatever my best option in the without the traffic is um, Boulevard uh, Venezuela. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the only way that the use or, or to um, learn to learn to, to, decir, to, get, pero, to get used to to get to get used to is only practicing 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 and then because uh, it is the is the, is the only options or is yes. the only way to to assimilate or to understand and to uh, use all the time mm -hmm. or not uh, the the principal reason is to not speak like a robot because <laughs> yes uh, you know yes and uh, as you said before the only way is to use them in uh, in real context right mm -hmm. so yes actually we haven't finished that topic we need to still cover that topic tomorrow we have different practices so you can um maybe understand that in a better way by putting into practice what we learned in the theory right so um, don't worry, we are going to uh, still cover that topic tomorrow as well, Tony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, teacher. All right, you're welcome. So, um, well, basically, Tony, my feedback for you is that I really like that you always participate, okay? I think that that is something really good, right, that you have, that you always participate. And um, I would say that that's the only way in which we learn, right? By participating, because if you don't participate, then the teacher is not able to listen to how you speak, right? Or the teacher is not able to actually probably correct some mispronounced word, et cetera, right? Then what you are doing is the best way to learn English, participate, right? Share your opinion. It doesn't matter, right, that maybe sometimes you don't know or you don't know how to say some things. The good thing is that you try to use synonyms and that's something that is also a good thing uh, that you do, okay? Try to keep doing that. Try to keep participating, okay? If you are the only one that participates, well, you are the only one that is going to learn, right? So, I mean, it's okay. 
So um, I really like that. Do not like lose that motivation, that way that you participate, try to do it always. Right, and well, basically, if you have any questions related to the platform, I don't know if you have had any issues. No, in the platform, no, no not right now. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, Tony. So, all right, so then that's basically what I needed to ask you, right, and what I needed to tell you. Then if you don't have any other question, we're going to see you tomorrow again. Okay, thank you, thank you Tony. Have a good night, rest, Thanks. okay, take you. care. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. See you.